I predicted it all along. I predicted that if Adolf Hitler were running for president, he'd still garner 70 plus percent of the Jewish vote. They would just say he's learned his lesson. People who are ideologues, who are uh, apologists for the Democratic Party, will never cross party lines. They hate the Republicans. They hate the other party. They can't, st and therefore, whatever is promoted as a Democrat, that's good. Ed Koch said it. He would think of voting against Obama, but because of Paul Ryan's uh, approach toward Medicare, he couldn't vote. He's probably going to vote for Obama. Ed Koch is Jewish. Shame on you, Mr. Koch. A Jew, no self-respecting Jew, should even consider voting for Obama. But the reason why is because the modern Jew of America has exchanged his religion for the Democratic Party's agenda. That is the most unfortunate part of all of this process. And therefore, it should not surprise anyone that there still will be a certain percentage of Jews, a majority of Jews in America, who will support this no goodnik, who will support this anti-Jew. I'm not going to call him an anti-Semite because he's half Arabic. Not Arabic by birth, but he was raised by a Muslim. And he identifies with them. He shows deference to dictators and tyrants. He is abusive of people who run a democratic society. He hates his friends. He disses his friends and respects people who want him killed. Amazing. What a brilliant